shit is crazy. Alcohol is amazing. Alcohol is uncontrollable. Enticing. Everywhere. Available. We wanted to know the extent to which teenagers were resilient in the face of alcohol. In the face of alcohol assault. We know what happens when adults drink too much. We know that their prefrontal cortex is affected. We know that their hippocampus is affected. We know that their cerebellum is affected. And if you move that to behavior, we know that their organization and decision-making is affected. We know that their memory is affected. We know that their coordination, their motor coordination and their ability to move well is affected after years and years and years of heavy alcohol use. But nobody really knew the extent to which Adolescents who are drinking at a younger and younger age now might be resilient or might be at risk for brain damage due to alcohol. Our young people start to drink at young ages. They don't start in high school, they don't start in college, they start in middle school and even younger. The mean age is about 13, which means that kids are starting even as low as 11 or 12. But kids who start earlier are more likely to have a riskier pattern of drinking. New Mexico leads the nation right now in kids that drink prior to the age of 13. By the time a student turns 18 in America, they're going to be exposed to half a million alcohol ads. So we have half a million mental repetitions in our brain on how to get drunk. We know that teenagers drink very often at their own homes or at the homes of friends. They tend to binge drink, especially on weekends, you know, after that big game, um, you know, there's a big celebration and, and they drink four to five drinks in a setting or more. Alcohol is fun. Dangerous. Violence. Expensive. Trouble. Alcohol is poison. An industry. You're a deceiving friend. 